The amazing thing about the Earth is that there are 4.2 billion individuals just like us throughout this Earth. Every second, more and more added to this Earth. The amazing thing about that is each and every one of them are unique individuals. They have different belief systems, different skill sets, different ethnicities, different cultural beliefs. But the most amazing thing about them is each and every individual is aware of their individuality, but not every individual is aware of their community. Now the definition of community is one of those very, very complicated things. For some people it's about be here now in this moment, in this room, in this city, in this nation. A couple years ago, I uh, became aware of what community meant to me for the first time in my life. I had spent 2003 in a place called Baghdad, Iraq. And uh, you can hear my voice wavering because it was a rough thing. But what I learned when I got back in uh, January of 2004 was that I had changed. The guy that went to war was not the guy that came back. And I didn't know who the guy was before anymore because I had learned so much. So it was kind of an interesting time for me. And I did what I'd done my entire life, and that was get away from people. I now had a reason to do it, though. I didn't like people anymore. I was done with them. So I went to na into nature. I would hike, I would bike, I would climb. I would get deep into the mountains and only hear the mountain breeze. I'd feel the water. I'd listen to the birds. And I'd be calm. And it was settling. And it was cleansing. And I started to think that this was my community. Now, granted, it is a part of my community because I do enjoy nature. But those individuals, those 4.2 billion and counting, are also my community. And granted, some of those that I had met wished me ill, and some wished me great success. The difficulty is identifying how I was going to interact with any of those communities. So for a number of years, I started to look around at individuals, at group sets, at the labels attributed to those based on how you dressed or how you acted or what you believed in, your ability or your disability. And it made me mad because I don't want to be combat vet Steve. I don't want to be, be disabled vet Steve. I don't want to be you know, Christian Steve or Muslim Steve. I don't want to be rich Steve or poor Steve. I just want to be Steve. And what happened is I started to realize that I'm not the only one. And it doesn't mean that the path that I took to get there was one that everybody had to take. Each of us have our own path. One of the most amazing things that I've done to date, in my mind, was realize my pride. My pride in America. My pride in myself. My pride in my struggles in the past and how those could help me move forward. September 11th, 2011, to the minute that the second tower fell. Uh, this is the summit of the Grand Teton. This is when it started to come home. This is when I started to realize I wasn't done. I had seen a lot and dealt with a lot, but this was the beginning for me. I didn't even know what it meant. I still didn't know what community meant. Remember, I'm still in the hills. I'm trying to avoid all you jokers. I don't want to deal with any of your problems. I don't want to deal with your phones. I don't want to deal with your technology. I don't want to deal with your cars and your anger and your issues. I got my own. I can't bear the burden of yours. But I needed to change something. Raising a young son, I needed him to understand the value of community, the value of working together. So my wife and I and a few others formed a nonprofit called Up a Downa. Now we started our roots as up a mountain, down a beer. Makes sense. I like to climb mountains, and I like to drink good craft beer. That was the reality, and that's all I wanted to do. But then I realized that's not the best messaging for all of my new community. People dealing with addiction, people dealing with, with environmental constraints that, that make the, the alcohol side of it not necessarily some messaging that they want to have in their lives or with their families. 
So we started to shift a little bit, and I started to do hikes and other activities, and I started to think about how this was impacting those around me, how my actions were going to impact and grow my community. So we came up with this, provide access to outdoor adventures for all through events and programs that empower individuals, create healthier communities, and foster respect for the environment. Now this is just a bunch of words. It's a way to get funding. People read it, they're like, hey, cool. I'm going to get behind this. What they didn't realize is the struggle that we all have. Empowering individuals, that's those around you and yourself. It doesn't necessarily have to be giving the participation award. Let's empower people that do good in their lives. They do, they do the right thing for the right reasons. Create healthier communities. I don't mean, you know, running five miles a day necessarily. I also don't mean high-fiving everybody you see, but I mean being involved. Do the right thing for the right reason. Be active and inspire those around you. The Olympics, those are inspiring people. Even if I can never swim as fast as Michael Phelps, I'm pretty in awe. I'm like, this is an amazing dude. This is impressive. I'm inspired. No, I'm not going to start swimming now. But I'm inspired to be a better person as a result of the example before me. So the way that Up and Downa has grown to empower people is to use nature. We don't, we're not a religious organization, and our mission is not to spread the gospel. It's not to, to set any guidelines on how to be a better person and to create a healthier community. It's about making people aware of each other and themselves, their own strength. Now, one of the first things we did was start to lead hikes. Hikes, right? Come on. We can all walk, right? We can move our wheelchair. We can figure out a way from get from point A to point B. For those of you that may be very active in the audience, ah, whatever, a hike, who cares? But think of the individual that's sedentary sitting on the couch, or that's depressed, or that has some physical or mental developmental disability that never knew it was possible to hike, to take a step. The beauty of nature is that that fresh breeze, that act of moving, is releasing endorphins. That's our miracle drug. That keeps us going. That gets us stoked on life. We feel excited about it and we grow as a result of it. And what's funny is when I smile, two or three people in here will start to smile. And that's the power of nature. It releases the animal inside each of us. It releases those endorphins, that willingness to take an additional step. Some people dig biking. So we're like, you know what, we're going to do some cycling. Those people that that don't necessarily identify with the hiking crowd. The cycling aspect is a pretty phenomenal thing. There are things called tandem bikes, which I'm sure you've heard of. But there are also tricycles. And what happened with this, with this community bike ride is that individuals that hadn't ridden a bike in 60 years came out. Four generations of the same family riding bikes together. They didn't even have to talk to each other because the energy that came out was palpable. We've had combat vets that are having issues with their mobility, that have lost limbs, traumatic brain injuries. They're, they're not functioning the way they were before they went away. And they're able to celebrate with their family. Again, we don't want labels. We're all just the people that we are. A good example of this is a young man named Logan. Logan is dealing with autism. He's 13 years old, been with us for five years in our programs. He comes to the programs and he's grown. I've watched this young man grow from a wreck, locked within his own mind, sitting on the curb, to someone that leads rides and dances in front of people and has a blast because he's not autistic Logan. He's Logan that has autism. I'm not disabled vet Steve. I'm just Steve. And that's the point of it. Now, whether it was the hiking we saw a minute ago or the cycling we see now, it's about the empowerment to do better, to be better. Because there is no stopping this force once we start it. You've all seen the videos of the subway, like when somebody starts to laugh, and then all of a sudden everybody else starts to laugh, and then it becomes just utter chaos. 
That's the power of positivity. That's what empowering individuals and building healthier communities is all about. It's expressing the good in the world. Climbing is a terrifying activity. For some individuals, heights, they're like, oh, you're crazy. But when you see a little girl proud of her mom or dad who is absolutely terrified at the top of the climb, they connect again. And they help each other. They see the value. Look, parents, adults need approval of children just as children need approval of parents. The way that we get it is by working together in celebrating what we do in life. Remember I showed you up a down earlier, that up a mountain down a beer? The up a is overcoming obstacles, achieving goals, and learning new skills. Do something new. Have fun. The down a is all about that realization afterwards. You know what? I did do a good job. It was important that I did this. And when you start doing it, you're going to empower those around you. Backpacking. It's funny. All of us in here right now have probably had a backpack on our back at one point in our life. But when I start talking about, hey, let's go 10 miles into the backcountry, people are like, are you crazy? Bear's going to chew my face off. That's ignorance. It's funny, but it's ignorance. Because you're like, well, you know, the bear probably won't like you. Or it might like you. But if you have the skill set to deal with it, it's a non-issue. So it's also about educating each other. Education does not necessarily mean pen and paper. Education can be action. Let me give you a hug. And then all of a sudden, you know what? Yeah, that made me feel good. That made you feel good. We feel good together. Let's go give other people hugs empowering individuals through activities that seem like they have no greater value other than walking one foot in front of the other with a heavy pack on. But the experience will last a lifetime. Inspiration is another aspect of, of trying to live in a better community. This young lady is the fastest woman to ever climb El Capitan. The fastest. She lives here in Colorado Springs. Phenomenal young lady, Jess Maris. You won't see her on a bunch of posters bragging about her feet. But you'll see her at the local gym having fun, relaxing, empowering those around her. Because she knows who she is and she wants to share it. And the way she shares it is with interacting with individuals every day. Nature truly can be the cure-all for all. If we're depressed, we get outside. All of a sudden, the depression starts to loosen its load. If we're dealing with issues at the house, issues with, with our body image, issues with the way that we interact with each other, take a deep breath, get outside. That fresh air can cure so many things. Nature is preventative medicine. You'll feel better. You'll treat your body better. You'll treat your neighbors better. Each and every one of you have the power to change the world. Everyone does. Every day, do not miss the opportunity to help that guy come back from where he was. You can do it just by taking one step out there. Your positive impact starts today. That's something that I say constantly because it can start today and it can restart tomorrow and again and again the next day. The reason that I'm here today is to simply share that the only way forward, in my opinion, is to start communicating and to drop those labels. There are no individuals outside of who they are. Do not label me. Treat me as who I am. Do not label those around you by your first impression or the way, you look, the way they dress, the vehicle they drive, the music they listen to, the religion they practice. Community is about acceptance and positive reinforcement. Thank you so very much.